Wolf King Trog back again uh, in the Kitchen of Dreams uh, with yet an attempt at an ale review. I was down my local Morrison's tonight. I was scanning the ales, just looking. I fancied an ale, going back to the old traditional ales, and then I looked and I looked and I, everything I'd see it was there. I had reviewed, and then I saw this guy from the Eagle Brewery, and it says Sticky Toffee Pudding, fine director scale. Now, Eagle Brewery, never heard of them, but obviously they've been bought up by Marsdens, who have been bought up by, bought up, not brought up, uh, by Carlsberg. So anyway, for a long time, we all so freaking drunk, uh, BB Barfly comes out to play. It's not been out for a while, but... And there's the BB Firefly. <laughs> the old gags are the best, aren't they? So anyway, here we have the bottle crown. I've not done this for ages, man. No. So here we have the bottle crown of the eagle. That's quite smart, that, actually. So let's get the eagle sticky toffee pudding, five nerecta in the glass, and see what it's all about. Here's a wee pour. Just as I thought it'd be that kind of treacly colour. That looks actually quite. There we go, here we have it in the glass, nice big fluffy head, you could shave with that, or stick a flake in it, one of the two, and uh, let's go in for a nose, right away, that is uh, ch chocolate, chocolate malt, caramel, it's got that sort of you, can, you know right away it's going to have that stickiness to it when the taste. Chocolate milk, caramel. Sort of like uh, that sort of like treacly, maybe not the word treacly I'm looking for, but no, that sort of sponge, uh, you steam it, the sort of sponge cake sort of uh, thing and then pour custard all over the top of it. It's got that kind of aroma to it. So anyway, it's all about the taste, so let's go in here and see what it's all about. Nice wee traditional whale, Friday night, so freaking drunk. So anyway, from the Eagle Bro Brewery, and it's a sticky toffee pudding, five in a Richter scale. Let's see what it's all about. Slangy Oh, that's well, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I was expecting that to be a wee bit thicker, to be honest with you. I was right with the sort of like treacly, sticky, toffee, caramel, a little bit of chocolate, uh, the hops, uh, you've got that earthiness to it, so I'm going to hedge a guess and say Fuggles which used to be in the, that's the only sort of earthy hop I know, there's probably loads of them now, but it used to be one, uh, it, it was at the Hobgoblin, used to be full of fuggles, and that's where I picked it up from, and I recognise the taste of it all the time. I'm not really up there with my my hops. There's a few of them I know, but not many of them. Cascade, that's the one I hate, that's a grapefruit one, but that's for another video. It's nice, don't get me wrong, it's nice, it's sweet. Sticky toppy, yeah. But it's a wee bit thin. That's all I think is wrong with that beer. For five, five in a Richter scale, actually, uh, that tastes like a, a 3.8, to be honest. 3.6, 3.8 um, I'm quite disappointed that it's not got a nice sort of like, thickness in the mouth. Uh, maybe because it's stiff, sticky toffee. It's a sticky toffee pudding, it's not got a bready note in it, but I, I don't know. Uh, it could do a wee backbone in the beer uh, to give it, but it's actually not that bad. Uh, I've tasted a lot worse in my traditional ales, but is it one I drink again? Probably if I saw it in cask, I would have a go at it in cask. I would reckon it'd be a lot better in cask than it has been uh, in the bottle, I've uh, got to admit. So I'm going to stick on the eye furniture for a wee minute, get my eyes on and have a wee look and see what it says in the bottle. So it's Eagle Brewery, Sticky Toffee Pudding Beer, 5 Richter, Sticky Toffee, 
sweet and sticky fruit. Mm, fruit, well, we'll get the toffee. Toffee scents, followed by spongy. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Spongy, multi flavours. You could have done with a wee bit more multi flavour, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, fuggles! Fuggles and Goldings. Right, all oh, right. Uh, style. Now, this is weird. Flavoured beer, lager blend. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there. Everything's back to front because I'm recording this on my camera, uh, on my phone. And it's... Uh, that's quite surprising, actually. Let's get chocolate malts, which I knew it would have. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I've tasted worse, but then again, I've tasted better. So is it one I'm going to drink again? The only way I would drink this again if I was in a camera beer festival, it was on, it was on cask, or it was in a spoons, and it was going for one sixty nine a pint or something. I would go, give me, give me a pint of that. I'll try it. Sadly, not in bottles. I thought I found a wee gem today, and then when I picked it up and I looked at it, it was five Narecta. I thought to myself, my God, where's this wee gem been hiding? But it's not really a wee gem. It's, a, it's okay. It's not offensive. I could probably drink two bottles of it, to be honest. But it's thin. That's a disappointing bit to it. So anyway, the Eagle Brewery, Marsden's, uh, Carlsberg, Stable, Sticky Toffee Pudding, 5 Narector Scale. I'm going to give that a Sofa King Drunk rating of... I'd give that... I'll give it pass marks. I'll give it 6 out of 10. So anyway, it's a 6 out of 10 from Sofa King Drunk. So if you've ever tried the Eagle Brewery Sticky Toffee Pudding, you liked it, you didn't like it, you know the script. Drop a line below. And if not, I'll hopefully catch you in another traditional wheel. Slangy Va, keep drinking the good traditional wheels because there is some belters out there. Ciao for now.